Welcome to the homework assignment for lesson 30. It's the last one for grade 3, module 7. Get your name on here first and use this form to critique student A's problem solving work on the next page. So you can look at it and it's like she took a, she, so she took a test maybe or she did some homework and you see it's a rectangle puzzle. And let's see, so for number one, just go through here, and I already wrote some stuff down. Uh, for the perimeter of a rectangle, she's got uh, eights. I'm just going to look at what she did. What did she do? She's got eights all around. And this looks like a lot like the one we just did in uh, Lesson 29. You can go back and look at that one and see it. Um, six times eight, because it's one, two, three, four, five, six eights. That's 48 inches. Her units are good. Perimeter is 48 inches. She's got to answer statement. She's got to, that's everything she needs to have. What is the area of Catherine's rectangle? Uh, so she broke this up. She sees the eight, and uh, she didn't even have to figure out that it was 16 inches long, but she knows it's going to be this rectangle plus that one, and that's eight by ten and eight by six. Add it together, it's 128, and she's got all everything written out there that shows how she did it. The area is 128 square inches. There's another one here, part C. So you can look at this one too. And you can see she did the same strategy here for two rectangles side by side and figuring out the area of the new larger rectangle. So she figured out 8 times 16. And that was 128. And she could have had a little more there about how she figured out 8 times 16. Because I don't see that. I don't see how she got the 128. Uh, but then 228s that you can do that mentally. That's 256. And then the new area, the area of the new rectangle is 250. So she has the answer statement. She has pictures. She has everything she needs. But I would like to see a little bit more there. Um, to see because that, that's like eight, you know, 8 times 16 is not one a lot. Most people can do just, it's not one you know like 2 times 4. You might have to do a couple of mental steps and those should be written out so let's see what what can we say we're talking about problem number this is all problem number one with a b and c so this is all problem number one just to fill out that part of the form strategies that she used uh, You know, just write down, some, what did she do? We just looked at that, right? What did she do? She drew pictures. Um, she wrote equations. She used RDW, didn't she? So we say she drew pictures. Labeled them, right? And she wrote equations. And then, I mean, this is really just a kind of like a what did you notice kind of thing. And you don't have to write it exactly the way I write it. And you probably, you might have noticed some other things that I'm not noticing. But if you just can't think of how to get started, look at this and I think it might help. And maybe you notice some other things you want to write down too. Uh, so there's, so... She did R D W. Uh, things that she did well. Uh, she didn't leave out the answer statements, right? Because that's one that's a lot of times it's easy to just write down a number. Uh, she showed her work really well, didn't she? Because I like I know exactly what she did well. I know how she did in her head. I mean, you know the steps. I could see all of that. So um, she showed her work. Although there was one I would like to see a little bit more on. Showing her work is something that doesn't come naturally to most third graders. Uh, she, she labeled her pictures. Uh, oh, 
she wrote answer statements. Just think about what are the things your teachers are always reminding you to do. She did pretty much all of them on those on those on that problem. So give her you know, give her some credit for that. Suggestions for improvement. I've said it like probably three times already. Uh, on part C, maybe you found something else you would like to say. Um, that's just the first thing that came to my mind that I noticed. On part C. she could have shown how she solved and what was that I have to go back and look at it and this is something you might have to do too you might have to go back and look at something or just go through the whole thing to find something that you would like to see but this is what I found 16 how she solved 16 times 8 Strategies I would like to try based on student A's work. Uh, I really like the way that she did this one right here. So this strategy of just adding the areas of the smaller rectangles. I like that one. But I also like how she wrote that equation too. So let's say... Is there some? Is there anything else in there? Maybe there's one that you, you know, may not be the same one that I like. So let's see. I would like to use the pictures more. And add smaller rectangles for area. There's the chart. 